joker in this battle royal. I am the visionary high flyer Matt Seidel. Early on in my career, I started developing a really good reputation as a wrestler who steals the shows, which eventually led to an opportunity with Ring of Honor. Me and Christopher Daniels became tag team champions, and all of a sudden, I got a message from SEMA, and I came out to Dragon Gate, and that's where I really learned this new secret art of wrestling. The future of wrestling. I knew I was a part of something special. Expecting to wrestle there my whole life, changed really quickly through a few phone calls and all of a sudden I found myself in Louisville, Kentucky at a developmental territory and that was the first time I came across Cody Rhodes. 2006, 2007, Ohio Valley Wrestling, very much ships in the night. I was heading up to the main roster to, to be a TV wrestler and he was uh, coming into the developmental. We've had tag matches, Cody and Ted against me and Kofi. We've been in six mans together, but one on one, we haven't stood across the ring from each other. When your ship's in the night like that and you pass, I think sometimes you tend to speculate on one another and not have the same respect you would have if you had actually mixed it up and uh, faced off. I think it's one of the reasons why him and I perhaps have always respected the hell out of each other. Not really liked each other though. So this match is not just inevitable, it's been waiting to happen for a really long time. To describe Cody Rhodes, I can't think about the guy I knew back in developmental or the guy I wrestled on Monday Night Raw. That's not the Cody I'm facing. I'm facing the Cody Rhodes who started AEW, who's grown a lot, who I've watched grow from a developmental wrestler to a main eventer. Cody has followed this really impressive path, this really great trajectory, but I never really thought he was better than me. And Matt Seidel's one of these people who will um give you the whole wrestling is art uh, thing, which I, I just think is total bullshit. But he says that, and he talks about the, the third eye, and he talks, he, he always comes at you so, you know, casual and kind of laissez-faire, but that's, to me, when I watch him wrestle, and I've, I've seen him recently wrestle, those two seem very different. The personality he depicts and what you see out there in the ring, he is very much a gritty, genuine kind of psychotic competitor. It throws me. Maybe that's part of the, the, the game with him because the guy in the ring is as fierce as, as anybody we have on our roster. Cody has Arn Anderson with a game plan. He's buttoned up, he's prepared. I'm a bit more of a free spirit than Cody. Inside the ring, outside the ring, I kind of like to let things happen on the fly. That's more my style. It's the middle way. That's what I mean by when I talk about looking through your third eye. You must have known Cody Rhodes would be right here on this poster. This whole company's about him, and now he's got another show, and is my match just a vehicle for him to promote his show? He's busy thinking about the Go Big show. He's thinking about executive business, answering emails, all these other things. Well, if you do not have both eyes focus on what's at hand, if you have one over here and one over there, you definitely don't have three eyes on the prize like I do. I know that's something that he said is that I'm, I'm preoccupied with this, I'm preoccupied with that. That's a mistake a lot of wrestlers will make when they put themselves up against me. There's a reason and I've invested heavily in my brand and that investment investment uh, refutes uh, me having my eyes on other things. If you do the work, you'll reap the benefits. And nobody does the work like I do. So what's so important about this match and what's so wild about it is that Cody Rhodes and I are complete equals. He may be the face of AEW and executive vice president, but we're both 0-0 in 2021. Both of us are starting from a clean slate, a tabula rasa, and it's my chance to seize the spotlight, to seize this opportunity. And believe me, I have been waiting, I have been preparing for this moment. Both of us know this is a big win. So not only would a win over Matt Seidel give me a 1-0 record for 2021, a win over Matt Seidel would put me in a, a unique spot on our rankings. I'm sure he thinks the same thing. When we get into that ring, I'm gonna bring the best Cody Rhodes out. I am gonna see you at your best because that's the Cody Rhodes I wanna beat. That's the momentum I need and that's how I'm starting my 2021.